decades. <clears throat> From the 80s, I will never again become obsessed with a John Travolta film. <laughs> Wearing prairie skirts after Urban Cowboy was one thing, but I refused to gain 60 pounds and wear a hairpiece. <laughs> I will never mix Aquanet with Gina Tay after bath splash again. After passing out and hitting my head on the bathtub, I thought Simon Le Bon was speaking to me through a transmitter in my headgear, which was absolutely not true, oddly. From the 90s, I will never again date a man who starts the courting process by hiding under the bed in my dorm room. It turns out this may be a sign of mental instability. <laughs> I will never again, if given the opportunity to see a Broadway show, choose the one that takes place entirely on roller skates. <laughs> I will never follow another five-year plan that I wrote on a used Arby's napkin that includes <laughs> only two entries, a job would be awesome, and buy condoms. Those two things actually aren't connected in any way, by the way. <clears throat> and then from the aughts, lots of lessons from the aughts, um, I will never again get a tattoo of the Chinese symbol for love without checking with an actual native Chinese person. <laughs> I'm just lucky that not many people know what the Chinese symbol for General Tso's chicken looks like. <laughs> Actually, almost everyone knows what the Chinese symbol for General Tso's chicken looks like, except apparently me. <laughs> I will never get another credit card. That's that's actually not a resolution, it's just what the bank said. <laughs> I will never buy clothes that have been reduced for quick sale. I will never watch Cougar Town. Actually, this reminds me. This is, a, this is just a traditional resolution. I'm going to break from the structure a little bit. I may, if given the opportunity, punch the writers of Cougar Town in the face hard. That's my only traditional one. I will never again date a man who begins the courting process by hiding under my garage. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. As George W. Bush said, I, pro I won't get fooled again. <laughs> In fact, I will never again fall in love with the wrong person, unless they're the right wrong person at the time, because love does that shitty thing of tricking you into thinking you found it when really you've just found someone who's broken in a way that your heart <laughs> finds beautiful. And just one more thing I will do. I'll forgive myself all these colossal, ridiculous mistakes. Ever try to move on from a relationship without forgiving the other person? It doesn't work. So I could hold on to the anger over the whole four night stand with a Halliburton executive with a foot fetish thing, and I could beat myself up like I'm a Cougar Town writer, or I can let it all go. I can free myself so that I'm ready to make more and more interesting colossal mistakes, just not the same ones. For the love of God, please, not the same ones. A person can only buy so much anti-itch cream and penicillin. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Here's hoping. <laughs> I'm just saying that she and I had a, a conversation in the back hall a little while ago over whether she should read an old piece that was tried and tested, <laughs> or she should read that <laughs> that no one had ever heard. I chose wisely. <laughs> I like that. I'm not going to be able to say the S word on OPB, so. Well, you know? oh, so this is a special boot. Woo! Shut up! Ooh. Yeah. We yeah. have yeah. special content. I know. I'm I know. Saying. This All is right. much better. I think we're going to we're gonna talk about Roadhouse in a moment. Before we do that, we're going to check in behind the desk back there. Can anyone tell us where we are in our fudge money? Just a we're moment. Stand by. We're, we're stand standing by. by for... What's the fudge money? Standing by so, for fudge. So, uh, Marie made amazing fudge. Mm -hmm. And it's a secret family recipe. We were at $1,000 when we started. If we get up to 2000 before Strange of Life is over, she will allow us to publish said family recipe. Wow. For the amazing fudge. That would that would absolutely be worth it, people. It's fudge for God's sake. It is. Hello. It's. it's you have to try fun. the fudge. You're not allergic to nuts, are you? Oh come okay. on! I love nuts. I'm just making. Didn't sure. you hear my essay? I'm just making sure. Just making sure. Because it's got nuts, but you've got to try it. So. Yeah. You'll, oh. I had to push it away for two reasons. I wanted it to look like I was trying to share, but mostly it was because I didn't want him to eat it all. <laughs> Also, I didn't want to eat. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. you. I was being mean to you, and I am sorry. That's fine. No, that's I, cool. I am really. I would eat it. I would eat it. Oh, only six hundred and eighty dollars <gasps> to fudge. Six hundred and eighty dollars <laughs> to fudge, you guys. This Come is on. awesome. This is easy. That's really that's like exciting. Two bucks from everybody on the stream right now, and we all have fudge. How many people are on we the stream? How do you know that? How do I you know they didn't all it leave? Wet wired into my head. Does anyone want to tell us? Who? I don't know. I mean. Oh, oh we've got the, got the finger minute. from producer Brian. Producer Brian's no, doing he's research checking. back there. He's doing research. Oh. 150? 150. 150. Yeah, it went down. Hey, but Target for tomorrow is going to play. 
And when they play, it's going to go it'll, way, it'll back go up, way back up, right? The kids go crazy for the Target tomorrow. They, they love the they kids love today it. with the music. The kids they with the music. And the dancing and such. <laughs> I don't dance. There's that was a great dance move. There's people too. dancing. There's a reason I don't dance. These people can dance. They've got Scott and Megan over there rocking dancing. out. Oh, nice. I'm kind of sad that we didn't have a camera pointed at the like total darkness. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, they're my really friends. I can call them dorks. Right. You know, I'm a dork. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, wow. The best. He's spanking something. There's someone yeah, spanking no, something. They're the best kind of dorks, but yeah. All right. Now, you must know that I have an ulterior motive for asking about Roadhouse. You, you do? Because you must realize how special someone in this room is to me. Uh-huh. A special lady are you talking about? A special, special lady. Uh-huh. A special lady who's going to be in, Rose, in Roadhouse? That person? Yeah. Yes. My um, pretty girl. Yeah. I wonder or, if she wants to just come sit down for a second. We don't even have to talk mic her. about Roadhouse a little come bit. Come sit down, baby. Just for a second. Come on. Wait. Woohoo! What am I doing? Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi. We're talking about your role on Roadhouse. We, let's talk about Roadhouse in general, and then we can, you know, okay. talk specifically about Megan, and I don't then we'll look cut as to pretty the band. as everyone else. You look You're gorgeous. Beautiful. Just be, <laughs> stop being silly. <laughs> She's dressed to take care of Rick and I. That's she's like in her like serving Maybe Cammy and Rick's knee clothing. <laughs> Thanks everybody. A little applause from the production. <laughs> Thanks guys. Gun Everyone line. is pissed at Megan Cam because Cammy we keep Rick. making Megan do mean things on our behalf. We're like, <laughs> could you go and like squash a kitten for us? That's not I true. Do. I didn't do it. I want to break up with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rick has. Yeah, Rick told me to go punch somebody outside yeah, earlier. That's cool. Just you punch him in the face. I also told her earlier that she could call anybody an asshole that she wanted to, but that she was the only person who was allowed to call me an asshole. Right, which I did. I took that advantage morning, of that earlier this morning. Apparently, it was not being very nice. All right, Roadhouse. Roadhouse? Roadhouse us. Um, Gotta Roadhouse, love that essay. If people I'm... aren't aware of Roadhouse, <laughs> Hello, where have you been? In any way, it's a little sad. <laughs> um, but Roadhouse was a Patrick Swayze film <laughs> in the 80s. Is with uh, a Patrick Sam Swayze Sorry. film? <laughs> Sorry, it with is Sam Elliott, a Patrick right? Swayze film. Uh, yes. Yeah, and my Sam mom is also in it. Sam Elliott. Freak. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Status of Double Deuce. Uh, Patrick Swayze plays a bouncer mm -hmm. uh, who can dance. Very we have well. a bouncer. Well, I wonder if our bouncer can dance. Yeah, Joe, you want to play a little Dalton? Yeah. He's ignoring he's, us he's now. He's checking the door. He's doing okay, his bouncer. Like he's it. bouncing. Uh, in any case, uh, mm. Shelly McClendon, who, of The Liberators. The Liberators. Um, who is, uh, and Eastland she Academy. Might, she's probably the funniest woman in Portland. I would argue um, that as well. Yeah. Besides you. No, shut up. Just it's very Hollywood. I'm just um, saying. <laughs> Uh, it, uh, had this idea to do a stage version of it, mm -hmm. and she actually she approached the playwright or she she approached the screenwriter who essentially was like, oh yeah, I don't you don't need to give me any money. I don't really want anything to do. With it. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, Shelley and I uh, are adapting it. She really she did a lot of editing to the script, and then she and I are writing some original songs mm -hmm. to go kind of in the scene changes a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, and Megan is going to be in it. She's going to be a waitress. Um, sassy of the sassy persuasion. And she's gonna, it's, there's going to be some interactive aspects to it, and Megan is going to help out with that. Are you excited? I am beyond excited. I feel. She's I feel. So excited. I have the <laughs> most ridiculous. I don't know how I ended up with all these gigs. Yeah. What a lucky gal I am. It has to do a little bit to do with all yeah. What a lucky. Oh. A so lot. What is Roadhouse to this is. To you in your life? Roadhouse. Gosh. There are no words really. I wish I had a song, <laughs> to express it. But I don't. Sorry, kids. Um, I, Patrick Swayze has meant a lot to me in my life. Um, and Roadhouse, I think, even though everybody loves Dirty Dancing, I think Roadhouse is his best work. I'll be honest. You don't think Ghost? What? No, no. I'm saying Roadhouse was his best work. Are you saying that because you're going to be in it? Yeah, dub, double deuce. The and I just, and it was the tai Chi it's also. just so, there's nothing like Roadhouse. So I'm really, really well, excited. That, that is true. There is nothing like there Roadhouse. There is nothing quite like So I could not be more excited to be working with an amazing group of people in Portland to to be a tiny part of it. What a blessing. And it, <laughs> <laughs> she just turned 80. I don't know how that was. Stop pussyfooting around it. Of, uh, Let's talk about it. It's part of Pearl Ground. And, uh, 
yeah, people should go to see as many of those shows as they can because they're all they were all born here and they're mm -hmm. all people. You know, Portland is just there's people just doing amazing stuff left and right in this town. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they should go. See, get, I, I don't even I don't know what the website is, but Fertile Ground is on Twitter. Fertile Ground. Um, mm -hmm. and, at uh, Fertile Ground. Meet is, I think um, it's yeah, I think at it's Fertile, Fertile Ground. Fertile Ground. Yeah. So Google it. Mm -hmm. Use the googling. All Use right. the googling. Well, ladies, say good night to you, Megan. You're not allowed to leave, though. Um, I'm never and leaving. We're going to head back over to Target for tomorrow one last time. We'll be back, but they will not be. And, and yeah. oh, there he is. There's oh, the and there's here. Doc. Everybody. Courtney, Megan, thank you guys so much. Oh, I'm just over nothing. here with my friends Target to, for tomorrow, trying to figure out what we're going to do right now. <laughs> but uh, before we do that, uh, you know, these guys we're work really camera. hard. It's okay. They work really, really hard for, for something. So I gotta got to show you what they're doing here. Are you guys ready? Are we ready for this? All right. Because you worked hard for this. And... Ha! <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Let's, let's try that again. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, they've been rehearsing this. They've been waiting to do this all night, right? All right. So, yeah. One more. With the leg. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Um, let's try the butt. Yeah. All right. You got one more in you? Watch for it. All right. Ha! Thank you. Elvis has left the building. All right. Um, we're going to let these guys play. We want to show you the beautiful Target handmade, each one different Target for Tomorrow t-shirts and the beautiful, wonderful Target for Tomorrow CD. You can also get it on iTunes, right? Yeah. All right. All over it. These guys are donating CDs and t-shirts for 30-hour day. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for coming and playing. And uh, what tune are you going to do? We're going to start off with the uh, Oingo Boingo tune, actually. It's called Who Do You Want to Okay. So. Cool. Uh, give me we're a second. Doing, we're just doing the one? Uh, I'll give you a signal. All right. <laughs> Sounds Let me go unmute the uh, channel. All right, here we go. Disease. And nothing could be worse than when there's nothing on TV. I'd rather be a cowboy than step like at the walls. I've been reborn so many times, I can't remember them all. And I say, who do you want to be today? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be today? Do you want to be just like someone on TV? Just like someone
under a rock in the middle of the sea. Do you want to suffer by yourself in a pool of blood for better rape? Do you feel like a saint? And I have clothes with a rosary in your hand. Do you want to be crazy like that? Go like a stranger in a strange land. Do you have a book of brushes? And be fair by all humanity. Would you like to be a bum? Do you want to be stupid? Just like me. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be today? Do you want to be just like someone on TV? Just like someone on TV! Who do you want to be today? Who do you want to be today? Who do you want to be today? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be today? We got a couple more left for you guys tonight. So, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, The gray old man wandering round public lands Never did a thing cause words were cast through my head Gave me last night a funny glow And as I spoke to me and he told me a story of his life Wanted to be someone who believes all I see. I wanted to live in the dream life of greed. I guess what I've learned didn't come from anyone else. I've learned what it means to save me. When salvation comes, it does not choose a side. The ticket to hell is an unfinished ride.
target for tomorrow. Ooh. Right now. Hey. We're joined by Renny Gleason. Hey it's nice to see you when I'm not crawling underneath the Christmas tree. <laughs> As well. <laughs> <laughs> More on that later. <laughs> <laughs> um, Renny is uh, here from Wyden and Kennedy, the fabulous Wyden and Kennedy. Oh. <laughs> Stop. I only say these things because they're Stop. written on my card. Fabulous, wonderful, amazing, fantastic. Oh, there you go. The hosts <laughs> of the space oh. that we are currently in. Yep. Yeah. Uh, before we go any further, though, I just I'm wondering where we are on the fudge money. Oh, <laughs> where, where are we in the fudge, fudge money? Where are we on the fudge money? Let me check. I'm just curious. Right. I'd like to know. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone Bueller. Thirteen fifty. Bueller. So we we haven't. Fifty. We've got we, thirty we went bucks. To, oh, thirty dollars. I thought yeah. it was ten. Mm, All yeah. right. So apparently, people aren't the big fans of fudge. We thought it's six fifty to fudge. Thank you, producer mm. Brian, for that. Thank you. He gets so. that. Producer Brian gets stuff yeah. done. Okay, I hear that you have a question that you would like to ask Rennie. Oh. So I'm just going to sit back here and pretend <laughs> it's not my show. Wow, you've been Ooh, just champing just at the bit, really, under the bus. for a while. Oh, that's cool. No, no, it says so. No. You want to read? Look. No, what? that's Rick the wrong part. Rick will ask a question. It does. No, it Rick wants says, to ask a question. It says, works for the fabulous Wyden and Kennedy. These uh -huh. are the which, secrets. Which she covered off very well, by Thank the way, you. Rick. No Thank pressure. You. So what Thank questions you. do I have? And then look, it says right here, Rick would like to ask a question. What? I'm only reading. I know. I'm trying to come up with a good one. I, I could skip. To I could. The By the way, you should stop IMing me. We're we're only. It's cool. I was trying to feed you something. So. Um, <laughs> he doesn't think you can. As Cammy you know. said, part of the Fair reason enough. we have. <laughs> Fair enough. We have the show, and we've totally torn out the whole production area and all that thing. This is kind is, of an office. Is all thanks to rent. Yeah, this is usually a workspace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot but of a lot is, of work. Is pretty much all well. thanks to Rennie and. Um, I don't know that there's a question there. I just wanted to kind of say, there's the production space. So you can see, hey, production folks. Hey, Hi, hey, this production is normally folks. office-y and desk-y. Yeah, so they're usually desks stuff. and Hells computers yeah. and, and startup-y kind of yeah, things. Yeah, normally we're not landing aircraft. No, it's right, weird. yes. There's, yeah. there's no air traffic control <laughs> exactly. going Keep on that. Keep the plane usually. away from, yeah. Uh -huh. But um, but Rennie and, and actually all of Wyden and Kennedy have been extremely supportive of this event. And we we obviously couldn't do it without them. So we wanted to have Rennie on. Um, Mo mostly just out of grudging, begrudging. Sort yes, of, right. He kept yeah. obligation. asking, and he's like, am yeah. I a guest? Yeah, relentlessly. Guess, right? Yeah, just, yeah. yeah, I got this really late right. night uh, Skype I am from yeah, that, that was Tammy, different. can you be? <laughs> no, that was different. Was that? that was about the Chris under no. the tree. Yeah. There's, there's several of those, but there was one that was like, Rennie's been bugging me. Awkward. He really yeah. wants to come on the show. Yeah, yeah my husband's over there somewhere. Yeah, it's it's incredibly <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Thank why you so much. Why, why <sighs> this mic isn't live? <laughs> no. Yeah. You know he's ignoring the entire yeah, conversation. He doesn't really even yeah. pay attention. He's looking for, uh, for, for good good interchange. He hasn't seen yeah, it yet. No. So it will work it. We'll keep shooting it. So but do you have works. a question for sure, Rennie or about, not? Because um, I have we'll, another bullet point. It's we'll, not even a bullet point. I have a star. Okay. okay. So why By the way, I, I just I, I thought it was interesting yeah. earlier that we, I think we've crossed now the where are we seven seven hour and yeah we've been on we've the five seven minute hours. mark maybe. we we yeah. owe people some letters I'm thinking yeah. Um, oh yeah we're way behind and I'm just wondering since I, since I wasn't here earlier mm -hmm. at what point did Rick's tie get loosened was that within the first hour was that was five it? hours is that sort of a stylistic I'm shaved thing? too yeah, nice yeah yeah, yeah. It, that's wearing it, off it, though yeah no sweetie yeah, you're not you're yeah. not shaved anymore yeah no. so i'm just wondering was the tie yeah, no, is I that think he wanted to button it and yeah. I, I vetoed that ah. i said this is my you know. second wardrobe change yeah you already. changed wow. your clothing yeah. mm -hmm. third if you count the mayor interview which right. will be viewed at some point that's wow. that's so you put underwear on now too is that yes well maybe Maybe um, to we, be unveiled I later. Yeah. Megan yeah. Kate had it on our Any list money. of things to do. Oh, I said her name and she like looked at me like I was calling her. Uh, no, we're no. talking about the fact that you told us we had to wear underwear. Yeah, yeah. It seems like some pretty draconian rules. That she's, yeah, she's, she's pretty running. hardcore. She's hard. Yes. Yeah, no. She like goes in there. She maintains everything. She's like, are you wearing a bra? Do you have underwear? Do you, need, all under do you need chapstick? Yeah. Not and, only, and that's like, just you for have me. The and that's for real. Yeah, yeah. you can imagine. I don't know. Yeah. She puts pins and needles in me. God, I wish she'd ask me. Straight, she's gonna hurt me. Yeah. Do you need Do you need Megan to do something? Yeah. <laughs> bra, underwear. Need yeah. some powder. No, Megan, she likes we to need a, We powder. need a bra for Rennie. <laughs> yeah, Rennie would like a bra. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. So why don't we just, you know, Rennie gets to do all kinds of cool stuff. Okay. So why don't Why don't you just give us like some of the cool things you're working on that we should expect all right. to see that you can talk about? Excellent question. Like you've got that cool little 
Nokia sure. thingamajigger little, there. Little, little product placement. We got that on. Nokia it booklet. Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's one of the new If you Nokia. zoom in close, you can see the tasteful Nokia logo <laughs> uh, there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you product placement. Yeah, a little little product he placement. He has the Vanna Hand thing down, yeah, too. It's very good. I would never oh, stoop. Oh, whoa. Did I would you, never you stoop. You need something to drink? To Jared? product placement. Do you want to bring a, me a cherry Coke there, Megan? That would be Oh, oh. <laughs> trying, trying to escape that. Oh, so refreshing. I'll join him. She's going to bring me something to drink, too. Perhaps. I'm sorry. So things that we're working on right now, yeah. um, you know, one of the things I think that we're probably most excited about is Unfortunately, I can't talk about client work. Yeah. Um, but you know, th just the space that we're in here mm -hmm. right now, yeah. and what we've been doing here in Pi, yeah. I think is one of the one of the things we're really excited about. Uh, okay. Oh. It's okay. Oh, oh. I'm, gosh, <laughs> I'm thirsty. It's <laughs> mine. Oh. The cherry coke the is cheers. always Cammy's. Cheers. Mm. It's true though. It's, it's always mine. <laughs> I get to slap people. It's so, my show. Does it count? Do they have to drink if I hit him? No, it's just me. All it's right. Just <laughs> will, will you donate more money if yes. she hits me? <laughs> Keep um, hitting. And, and I'll do I it. The thing for us about this whole experience Ed, was, was the opportunity to do things exactly like this. So, yeah. uh, you know, this, this is one of those things where if I, you, we've turned the camera around a few times, but the um, ability to kind of whip stuff like this together. Um, not not to underestimate the sheer amount of time, effort, <laughs> blood, and sweat that went into actually making it happen. But this is exactly sort of why we're why we're playing around with this space. Yeah, yeah. And I could go into more detail if if you thought that would be interesting. But well, you know. you know, I think. I mean, I think. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Is there, yeah, if there's other stuff mm -hmm. going on. Is that the okay. interesting cock of the head right there? Okay. Yes. Well, that's Earth? interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very interesting. So <laughs> you know the, the feigned interest. Can you can you Fair you enough. do the chin thing and I'll I'll point oh. to my mouth. Ah, wow. Mm. Freeze. <laughs> People will think their buffering just hung up, and we can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the stream uh, has stopped. No, By I way. think it is interesting. When Rick first told me about what was going on here, I thought it was really, really interesting. We've been down here once before mm -hmm. to talk to Kaviton and Glassby. Mm -hmm. And so... That must have been fun. <laughs> they're always fun. I like those boys. Yep. Ah. Yeah. But uh, so when, when Rick said, hey, have a 30-hour day at Pi. Yeah. It's like, yes, please. And thank you. Yeah. So yes, please do tell us more. Well, I'll, sincerely. I'll, 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 I'll tell you sincerely sort of the three objectives that we had in, in partnering with the guys, because I, I would first and foremost say it's not about Wyden and Kennedy mm -hmm. um, doing this as much as Wyden and Kennedy looking to try to create an ecosystem where other folks could do stuff. So that, that was kind of the first thing, which was we looked at this as an opportunity to use um, a retail space in a, you know, in a section of town where there's a few retail spaces available mm -hmm. um, to give companies the opportunity to launch, basically, as a kind of incubator slash uh, collaboration space so that that was really the notion and it wasn't it very much wasn't about widening Kennedy businesses launching mm -hmm. it was about businesses launching yeah. um, and I think we've expanded that definition a little bit yeah. from businesses launching to actually what we're sort of targeting is more um, disruptions I think that's that's mm, a little more of the objective yeah. so if that happens to be a business great if it doesn't wah, wah. Yeah. but it, it's mostly just stuff that makes you go wow uh, I wasn't expecting that uh, the second thing that we were looking to do was create a way for we, we the when I first got here and I've only been in Portland now for three years, um, I was completely oblivious to the fact that the you know open source kernel and all all just all the stuff that was happening. Mm -hmm. Fancy technology, um, that right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Schmancy. Mm, it's it's schmancy, schmancy even. And schmancy. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. We have both. Um, <laughs> and, and what we were looking to do was really create a, uh, we were hoping in, in sort of an ideal scenario that we could give a hub or a connection point mm -hmm. where folks from the space could interact with each other. And um, that's been really exciting. Mm -hmm. I think there's been a lot of other groups using the space. We've had the Python group and WareCamp and a yep. um, bunch of other uh, folks in and, and really playing with the space. And I think the third thing that we were looking at doing was the notion that we didn't, I think it was a, a little bit of a challenge for the folks upstairs when they first were trying to wrap their heads around it. They were like, wait, so 
they make digital things for us, like geegaws <laughs> and dilly widgets. And um, it, it, we, we, we sort of got through the notion with them that it wasn't about specific products as much as it was about platforms mm -hmm. and creating, um, again, ecosystems, mm -hmm. ways to sort of populate and build new stuff. So th yeah. those were really the three yeah. big objectives. Yeah. And is this where that whole, the last line on the card feeds into the whole intersection of humanity and technology? Yeah, yeah, a little like bit. Segue. <laughs> that, is, that, that was a very nice segue. Thank you. Uh, cut nice to hook pulling me off to the side. <laughs> no, um, you can stay for a little yeah. bit longer. Uh, We've the, got time. We've got 30 uh, hours to kill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Want to have a slumber party? <laughs> last I checked. I'm going to do his makeup. It's going to be awesome. Time. Wow, yeah. That, he puts up with a lot from putting, me. Putting makeup on Rick, that's got to be a satisfying process because you really, <laughs> really, you really feel at the end like you've accomplished something. Don't you? <laughs> That was um, kind of mean. No, I liked it. it. That was supposed to be gen gentle. It was. Yeah. It was the gentle kind of mean that I appreciate. Gentle mean, exactly. Yeah, Gene. Yeah, yeah. I like him. Mental. Yeah, I yeah, keep I him around. You would. Yeah. Uh, so the human technology <laughs> thing. Mm -hmm. You know, for us, um, that's been, I think, the, the what we find to be the most interesting um, intersection is, is trying to figure out ways to give technology a heartbeat, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. It does. And, and finding ways... Um, to make this not seem like something out there as much as it can feel like something in here. Mm -hmm. And I, a couple of examples that I can sort of bounce around. One of them that you guys are probably very familiar with is the Baker Tweet thing that the uh, guys from Poke did in London where they hooked up the, basically it was just a little Arduino chipset that they built, a, it put in a feed and ran tweets so that when you pulled the food out of the oven, I'm sure you saw this stuff. For anybody <laughs> out there unaware of what they did, the, the basic notion was... Um, yeah, I don't have any good props. Um, <laughs> if, if you if you cooked a croissant, you would turn the dial to uh, croissant, hit the button, and the bakery would effectively tweet that there was this, you know, new delicious product. It was equivalent to the Krispy Kreme hot now yeah. sort of neon sign. And uh, That's it was it was one of those things that like it, it's wonderful because when you start talking about you know Arduino chipsets, mm -hmm. it's it's quick eyes roll back in heads. But when you talk about a hot buttered croissant, people connect with that and mm -hmm. it's sort of that magic when you can find ways to connect with human hearts using technology that simply couldn't have been done before mm -hmm. that things get really interesting and, and disruptive and right. that's where we get excited well and I think that's part of the fun of the pie space is that that technology is so accessible now I mean I think that's a theme that's been running throughout a lot of our discussions is the the barrier to entry for a lot of technology is a lot lower than it used to be. And you can do a lot of really cool things mm -hmm. with just, without much investment. I mean, there, you, you, just, you just have access to so much more yeah. these days. Well, you, there, um, I was talking behind the scenes there before while, while they were doing my hair, makeup, and uh, yes, wardrobe. Right. And, um, you look great. They did a great way. job. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. We'll keep whoever that was, we'll keep them around. <laughs> they installed an extra two inches of forehead for me. Um, <laughs> But they were talking about how, oh, I, I, it was Kelly who was talking about the Apple IIe and mm -hmm. how she'd used that when she was little, and now you've got a, you know, I've got an N900 in my pocket from Nokia that, that packs more computing power mm -hmm. than, yeah. you know, yeah. no rad used to. And it's, it's, it's the, the barrier is, what, what I think is so interesting is as the barrier comes down, there's a wonderful thing, Jan Chipchase, who's a cultural anthropologist for Nokia, talks about this band uh, of convenience and alarm with mm -hmm. technology. And it's, if it's over a certain, if, if it's, convenient enough, um, but doesn't raise your alarm hackles, then there's an enormous um, spectrum that you can do. Yep. And as technology just gets easier and easier for you to like, literally trip and fall into it, mm. or, or becomes a croissant, like, once it becomes something you can play with, I want a in, it, it's <laughs> kind of awesome. Yeah. Sorry, I can go Hungry. get you a meat stick. Jeez. There were a few <laughs> that's back there. That's, that's OK. No, yeah. Yeah. thank you, though. That's a dried actually. meat stick, actually, yeah. it looked yeah. like. Take as many as you like. <laughs> <laughs> there seem to be a few left. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, Rick, do you have any final thoughts or questions don't for Rennie? Really, no, no, but again, thank you. I mean, yeah. for all that yes. you've done and thank for you. helping us out with this. I mean, as I said, like, Wyden Kennedy has been super supportive of everything down to, like, the facilities folks, like, being mm -hmm. in her beck and call and helping us out. So, I mean, we, we would not be doing this without you. And, well, and I got to donate money. to Free Geek from, from backstage. Oh, nice. Good. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> you right. should do the same. Subtle plug. Because we want that fudge recipe. We need <laughs> fudge. And we're getting close to the end of the things. We've got one more guest and one more song, I believe. 
Brenny, thank you. Yes, thank you, you may so take much. your mic off, oh, but thank you. thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Thanks it was for a pleasure. Me. Appreciate it. Whoop. Yes, no, yes, thanks for having you in your space. You're right. <laughs> You're welcome. It's ours. <laughs> it's a group kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> right, there you go. Nope, go around. Yeah, there you go. Bye bye. There you go. Go around. Someone oh, will help you over nice. there. So, I, I needed to do a couple of sponsor. You can go ahead and sit. You can sit. You Just can. mic yourself. They can't see you right now. They can't now. see you. It's secret. Um, it's I need to do secret. a couple of sponsor uh, shout outs. Um, some things. Yeah. Ned, Ned Water, doing some, uh, keeping us hydrated here. They We were running out of juice or out of water or whatever you want to call it, and they swung back by. Oh, wow. Sure we had plenty of that. I didn't see that. Yeah. So, um, I and the reason, doing something. the only reason we're awake is because of both the water and um, the fact that Blue Hour brought us dinner, brought us dinner, which was awesome. It was and delicious. And for all the crew, it was great. Yeah, they didn't just feed Rick and I. They were no. like, okay, we'll feed them all. I mean, it may have all been for us, but we shared it with the other folks. I could have eaten. Bit. I could have eaten. I could have eaten another box of spaghetti. Oh, but, but, and then uh, St. John, St. John's Coffee Roasters, who's okay. providing the coffee that's actually keeping the crew from dozing off while we're doing our witty. Have you, have you had any coffee? Not yet. No coffee yet. No coffee till tomorrow. That's what I said. Really? Sure. No coffee too. Tomorrow's in like 34 minutes. So we'll see I what happens. It. But that's but again, thank you seriously. Really, I again, need we this couldn't time. be doing this without our sponsors, and uh, and it's very kind of everybody for all the stuff they've donated. Thank okay, you. so before we move on, I would also like to know where are we on our fudge money? Quite yeah, see, seriously. it's not looking good. Uh -oh. I'm you guys. Sorry. We're, yeah, he might have something that could it's help. It's pretty that. much stuck at 1360 right now. All right. We've got another guest. No fudge. It's looking like. We've got another guest. We're going to talk with our guest okay. for a few minutes, and then we're going to have one last song from the guys. Cool. I would like to introduce you all to our guest. This is the locket van, <laughs> as my husband likes to call nice. him. The junk pusher. Yeah. Not like junk as in, as in bad, but junk as in addictive. Thank you. <laughs> this is Scott McCarty. Hey. who is also a sponsor of 30 Hour Day. He's yep. donated some amazing lockets to the auction and also some custom 30 Hour Day lockets. You want, you're wearing it. It's yeah, pretty. Got one. Yeah. Can someone take Can a look a at, wrist, that, at the wrist yeah. here? Anybody? Can get back close to anybody? Somebody. We'll get back to it. It's right there. Camera oh, there we there go. go. There we go. Yeah. That is the beautiful 30 Hour Straight. Day locket. Yes. Hello, Scott. Hello, Cammy. <laughs> Hello, nice Cammy. Hey, hey, you know, I gotta spiff it up a little bit. You look lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Goes well with my dress. I know. I, I am. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> Thank you, Jeez. Anne. Bocci. If that doesn't get how many? How much money do you need? I know. What, what is going on. on here, people? It's crazy. Have you what? not seen my dress? Yeah. It's a great dress. Rick so how much are we short? Because maybe I can, we're six forty. Six forty. So we need six hundred and forty dollars. Yep. We need six hundred and forty dollars in the next fifteen minutes. So we minutes. need the fudge we recipe. need we need some people to donate some money right now, don't we? Yeah. We need people to so donate six hundred and forty dollars right. So we now, need a challenge. Right there. What's the six. challenge? We already have a challenge, which was that we want the fudge recipe. Right, 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 right. The but we need a challenge within a challenge. Recipe. So fudge. if we could get, I don't know. There's got to be at least 20 people out there mm -hmm. that could donate, what, $50 maybe? That would be great. That would be really, That would get really us up sticky. there. At least 25. There are 122 people who are There's 122 the right people now. on there right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so one of them is my wife, so she's... That's Hi, cool. Miranda. <laughs> and probably the kids. <laughs> Do they have they're their all own computers? They're all on different browsers. Well, no, go, I mean, you know. Go, bump up the numbers. Going up there, stuff, I'm thinking, so. I'm hoping, I'm hoping someone put my kid to bed already. All right, if we can, if we can. She doesn't uh, even see the ship go down. I've got the last $100 if we can uh, Ooh. get there. If you guys We're, can get it up to $1,900. I'll, I'll, I'll finish it. He'll pony up the last $100. But it's, it's, we got to go now. We got to go now. But you've got to get go. it now. Now, 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 now. now, now. We can now. do that. All right. I know Put the you tweets guys out. Do that. I will I'm do gonna that. pull out the card. This is you're not Rennie Gleason. You interview. I'm, I'm gonna make hay. Hi, Rennie. This. You're back so soon. No. <laughs> you're also not Marie. No. I no, should stop no. tucking cards into the chair. This is getting comical. <laughs> Get Rennie, the blue cards. Marie, I'm not um, Courtney either. Uh, Amy. And holy cow, Courtney Hommeister. You guys got like mm. all the A-listers here. Oh, oh, I put your card over here. Oh. Check me out. Uh. <laughs> Check me out. Okay. 
Scott's a locket maker. He makes lockets. We kind of covered that. Talk about that. Does lockets, everyone, lockets. Does everyone Did you know that you had somebody here, right? You had somebody here earlier that had a locket on, and it was not a locket to you locket. Who? <laughs> I'm not going to name any names. Is Everybody's going to have to. Yeah. 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 Somebody crazy. sitting right here. Do you have any oh. idea? Somebody sitting right here. No. Do you have any idea how many lockets to you lockets <laughs> are actually on the premises, though? Yeah, but. Even the, Robert Wagner was wearing I know, I know. I got to finally meet him tonight and uh, <laughs> Fat Boy and uh, Court, and that was yeah. awesome. And, He's uh, not fat, you know. He's not, no, no, no. His name is Bobby. Bobby I like to call him Bobby. Yeah. Makes me uncomfortable calling him Fat Boy. Yeah, that, like that's it. kind of a, yeah. It's a so. thing with me. When I met him, I said, do I have to call you Fat Boy? Because <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, no. I didn't no. know at the time that he was like, like not fat. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Like tiny little body. It's kind of like whenever like they name like the biggest guy in prison Tiny. Yeah. <laughs> right, Rick. You yeah. remember that, right? Right. Okay. So, uh, when I was in prison, <laughs> that guy was huge. Is that why you're so gentle with me? Yes, that's right. All that, and that's why you eat you're my docile. food. Docile. Okay, so there are other things that you're not as well known for. No, I know. Yes. Um, for instance. That. Yeah. Yeah, the international incident in France. Okay. Oh, we weren't. I oh, yeah. promised Miranda we were not going to talk, talk about, about that. that. Uh, we are, however, going to talk about Power Brunch. Power which, Brunch, yes. Which also happened on Monday, but yeah, <clears throat> somebody may have been a little not. Yeah, present. we had a little. Delay. I wasn't even looking at you. I was. Yeah, was it? I was rolling my it eyes. My I took fault. seven <laughs> phone calls, and I decorated my Christmas tree. Actually, that's not true. I took seven phone calls and put lights on my Christmas. Oh, we don't even have the tree yet. Yeah, my daughter was ready to kill me. Yeah. She really wanted a tree. So. Okay, so tell us about Power Brunch. Power Brunch. Power Brunch is just kind of one of those, uh, another organic thing that just started on Twitter. Of like, mm -hmm. hey, let's get together. Let's talk. Let's tell each other how great we are and how famous we're going to be someday. And we're like, we're All right, amazing great. and wonderful. That's so, how amazing we are. Yeah, that's, you know, let's manifest this greatness. Mm -hmm. and. The great, the great thing about it is that it's been uh, just an organic thing where we get on there and say, like, hey, you know what? I like what you do. Come to Power Brunch. Let's talk to each other, introduce each other to, you know, and say, yeah. hey, what can we do to uh, help each other out? And um, that's great. We've just had our, I think, our fourth or fifth one, mm -hmm. and uh, it's growing, and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun, and we're going to continue to do that. We're going to get a little bit more organized going into 2010, where we're actually going to have maybe some guests, speakers, <laughs> and wow, go a little bit more. Yeah. So let me ask you, what was the topic of discussion at this last Power Brunch? Well, this last Power Brunch was a little bit of uh, an agenda. a little bit of more of a, an agenda, where we discussed this idea that I have about having the world's biggest, biggest tweet, tweet up, up right here in Portland, 2010, sometime this summer. Don't know exactly when, but we're that's okay because yeah. we're working on it and it's going to work and we're going to seriously put Portland on the map as the, you know, basically I want to showcase Portland as the, base, the best as place. As well you should. Yeah. It's and, Portland. And you, social media. You know, the um, Rail Dornfest. Who lives Hi, here Rail. in town, mm -hmm. works for Twitter. I do. But we also just found out that Alex, Alex Payne, is moving to who used to be the API guy for Twitter and, and is now doing something else, who who works with is who works with Rail is going to be moving to Portland as well. I have to say after so the things we'll he said about Twitter. San Francisco, he's probably safer. Yeah, well that's yeah. <laughs> it's probably but. safer moving. So it'll be interesting, <laughs> kinda of like we kinda of like we've adopted Read Write Web because we have so many Read Write Web. I love the Read Write Webbers. Here. Right. Twitter could be the same way. We could be. It could be a de facto. We've got at least site. one read, read write web guy in the room somewhere. I know. Yeah, we had yeah. him earlier. Wandering around. somewhere. So. There's always one. So there are, you can't get everywhere. Rid of them. They're everywhere. But as, as so, more, more details will be, we're, we're uh, I'm working with this very special person right mm -hmm. now that uh, uh, definitely helps with the credibility on that and stuff. And she is. Uh, um, given me some really good insight to like behind the scenes like hey this is what we really need to work on and mm -hmm. work for it so we're, we're getting everything together and I'd love to hear everybody uh, follow me at lock it to you uh, mm -hmm. give me your suggestions of what you think what you would like to see as far as like here in Portland as far as having people from all over the world coming here to celebrate not only Twitter and social media but Portland in itself because I think we have some of the best people in podcasting Portland should cutting be edge. celebrated yes and we, and we need to showcase that some more. Awesome. I'm, I'm wondering, 
Scott, do you want to ask the guys if they're, do you want to ask the producers if they're ready? Are we ready? Oh, we are. We're so, okay. Okay. so let's go ahead. I'm thinking we didn't get to two grand. I don't think we did. Did we, did we get there? No. no I don't think All right, so. Well, I mean, that's, people we'll are let him check. And actually, Halodal's asked, Nate Angel, who you saw on the Peacock Lane, the Peacock Lane stuff, is asking if people can pay via PayPal to donate. Now, the, the problem with that is that we, you can't, we don't have a PayPal account where you can mark that off as a charitable donation. You Correct. have to go through causes. To have to it be a it, charitable donation. To have donation. it be a charitable donation. Now, if you want to just give money and you don't care if it's a charitable donation, I mean, it will go to charity. To you we just won't get the tax Yeah, credit. I know okay, we need to we go. Know, we know. We're working on... We're, working we're going. We're going. <laughs> this was important stuff. Okay, so we just wanted to touch on that because a lot of people are asking that questions. Now yes. we need to get back over to Target for tomorrow. So uh, let's say good night to Scott, and Hi. let's say good night and a beautiful, warm thank you. Oh, my God, and millions of kisses. We love but you guys. You, Target for tomorrow. You still get your $100. Aww. Oh, nice. Good thank night, you. everybody. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Target for tomorrow. You guys rock. Does not fade away. I never want to ever feel as ruined as my memories. <laughs> Yeah.
Much. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen.
There's the production crew again. Hi, oh, go, go, crew. go. All right, we're going. <laughs> go now. We're here. Oh. What's the problem? We've been laying around for like hours waiting for you guys. Oh. You got pajamas. I yeah. Camp them in your pajamas. Well, thanks. I know. I'm all ready to watch a little movie. Did something. you get a blankie? Did you bring one, Will? Yeah, I got a movie called uh, Christmas Without Snow. Nice. Christmas I like Without it. Snow. It's a little different from what we usually do for the Seventh Planet Picture Show. It's uh, it's more um, realistic. Mm. <laughs> Whereas okay. what we usually deal with is science fiction, horror, that kind of thing, the mm -hmm. supernatural. Mm -hmm. This movie is so realistic it hurts. <laughs> Everything yes. Is realistic. Yes, it's really it's painful in a variety of ways. Mm -hmm. we, we, we shall see that. <laughs> <laughs> but it does have John Houseman. Right. Yes. It does. John that is Houseman, true. Redeeming factor, Michael Learned. Michael Learned. Yeah. Michael Learned. yeah. Nice. Which is uh, kind of strange because Michael is generally a guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Kind of throws you for a loop. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. A lot of things about this movie are going to throw you for a loop. <laughs> like the pumpkin. Pumpkin? pumpkin? Yes, the pumpkin. There's a pumpkin. Just saying. Yeah. Kind of I had a pumpkin nightmare. earlier today. Yeah, we won an award. Pumpkin. You'll find out about that later. Maybe. Maybe. There it's are, possible. Uh, a number of uh, hidden treasures to be discovered oh. in the folds <laughs> of this public domain movie. So Strangely enough, anybody public can domain. find it on archive.org. If you search a Christmas without snow later, you want to like uh, go back and find out exactly what this movie was about. Because Cammy has a tendency to talk over things. Is a wonderful thing. And even though I'm not wearing pajamas, I am wearing my free geek shirt. But, but do you ever yay. sleep in that? Do I believe in free geek? I said, do you ever sleep in it? Do you ever just like fall asleep in it? I have. I've well, then it's pajamas. Most of my clothes, I think. <laughs> then, they, then they're pajamas. They count. I'll just say you're going to do a sound test. Ooh. Okay. okay. We're going to do a sound I test. Cool. I can't hear myself. That's fantastic. Check, check, check. <laughs> Mike, Mike, check. What? Uh, check. I can kind of hear an echo. From check, there, check. Chuck, it's kind of sad we don't get to stay on the couch. We don't get like, to stay on the I'll couch, go, do we? So how are you guys holding up? Uh, Great. So far. In I'm, I expected. Yeah. Does anyone know what time it is? Uh, so like 11:45. I expected to be a lot more. 11:48, according to my. I expected to be a lot sleepier at this point. Are you sleepy? I'm a little sleepy. That's okay. Sleepy? So sleepy. I put on my PJs. Rick <laughs> Steve, Guy. <laughs> Rick Steve. Uh, Ken, I, Chris, I, I whatever your name to, is. Uh, I've referred to Rick on Twitter as Steve <laughs> about like 20 different times, I think, over so far. <laughs> yeah. I, for some reason, whenever I think Tarosi, I always Steve want to Steve Tarosi. Steve Tarosi. That's a tougher name that Do I could really Do you know the name Steve? What? Is it perhaps somebody I know named Steve Tarosi? No. Therese? There might be a Steve Tarosi. But you're no relation. No, well. Probably. I'm just trying to cover my ass. Like, I, <laughs> I probably just, I'm just thinking you look like a Steve. Yeah, I, yeah, I've got a lot of that Steve in me. You look like a, you feel like you look like Sometimes a Steve? Sometimes I think I could be a Steve, yeah. You feel like a Steve? Sure. Do you want to change your name to Steve for me? So that when I refer just to you, you, you don't have to Just for you, I will do that. We'll but then I can't call him me. Ken. Okay, and, and, and can you pose uh, with me? with a guy in a chicken suit so that when I mistake you for Justin Kistner. Yeah, uh, uh, there's no problem there. That I say, I, are you the guy I pose with the chicken, the guy in the chicken suit with? Uh, then everybody will it all make sense. I'm not making a mistake because yeah. I pose with a guy in a chicken suit with Steve Tarosi. Totally, yeah. Yeah, Steve Tarosi. Yeah, your name. Your right, name. my new and name. And like Justin it. Kistner because for a while I thought it was you that I posed with the guy in the chicken That's suit. Right. But it was actually... Was Justin in a chicken suit? No, they no, were just no, standing near right. again. Oh, okay. I was really confused. Well, Justin okay. And I found okay. The guy I thought you were asking suit. Rick, Steve. I was actually the guy in the chicken suit. That's what I thought you were asking out. Steve to, to put on a chicken suit. Steve, I'm going to get like so would you, confused. Would you wear a chicken suit? Sure, yeah. I'm wearing PJs. No, I'm back in back in May, of the blog, I believe it was the, the uh, first uh, What the Ship. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. was a fellow in a chicken suit. Chicken suit who just showed up, and uh, Justin Kistner and I posed in front of the guy in the chicken suit, and uh, I believe his significant other took a picture of it and put it on Flickr, and but did not put it up there for a long time. So for the longest time, I thought it was you, and I was bugging you to. Where's that picture? Where's the picture of us? <laughs> the chicken, the guy in the chicken I'm suit. I'm like, 
Sure will. That yeah, makes sense. That right yes. to you. Are you kidding? You're, you're kidding, right? <laughs> That's funny. We'll just make it up some guys. Crazy shit happens in Portland. Man, crazy it's shit nuts. happens in Portland. I'm trying to find the best way to like so, curl up in the fetal position without uh, just without whoa, dislodging my microphone, there, which I totally so did. Are you guys going to sleep or what? Like, do I have to? Am I gonna? Like, you guys? I mean, this movie is kind of sleepy. We might doze off during the movie. I'll have.